Hey guys, what's going on? It's Corbin from Circa 2020 again, back for a quick little video. Very, gonna be really interesting. If you paid attention to the page, this might throw you for a loop. If you've landed here by search, welcome to Circa 2020. We're in the corner of the shop where some AR-15 building goes on. If you're wondering what the blue dot is on the wall, that's how I bore sight for 50 yards for most sites. That gets me pretty close um, from my vice for the rifle. I don't know, I just thought it would be weird for a blue dot to be on the wall. Don't mind me. Um, what we're here to talk about, you can tell by the video, is a replica EOTech HHS-2 with the flip magnifier. So if you go on EOTech's website and you're looking for sights, you can find the HHS-2, which is a holographic sight and more compact than like their uh, 511 or 518s, I believe they are. Um, compact C123 battery, holographic sight with a three times magnification G33 flip magnifier. Now, if you've watched some other stuff, I have a replica Trigicon SRO. And when I got it, I was like, whoa, quality. Um, no, it's not a real Trigicon, but it was a really quality site for the money. It was 50 bucks and I threw it on top of my, my Canik TP9 SFX and it ran great. And so far it's been great and I've had no complaints and it was half the price of any other decent red dot of maybe the same quality, and it looks good, um, and it matched the gun, so I bought it. So I kind of got looking around again on Wish. I took a big gamble, okay, because, now like I've said before, I spent thousands of dollars on Wish, maybe not thousands, but I spent over a thousand dollars on Wish, for sure. Mostly on firearm related stuff, and I really never got burnt on anything. Um, I've got wished, or well, I call it wished, I got wished on a pair of gloves, and I just got wished on a flip magnifier, and it was just total fraudulent. It wasn't that, that basically they advertised it as this magnifier, not branded EOTech, but a G33 magnifier, and it came, and it was a plastic thing that I wouldn't even put on a Nerf gun. Um, but it was like 12 bucks, so I figured it was a sham, but I had to take the risk after getting this. So... If you go on Wish and you search uh, holographic or red dot, I forget which way they use. Now, this is not holographic, but we'll go over that. Red dot or holographic site 58 with magnifier, you should be able to find this. Um, what you're going to receive, it might take about a month to get it, but what you're going to receive is a box. And when you open the box up, you're getting this really nice rugged, heavy duty case that right on the front says EOTech holographic sites, which at first I got real excited. I was like, holy moly, I didn't notice that in the description. And then I opened it up and the site came in here. The G33 magnifier came in here. It came with the mount that's on the magnifier now. It also came with a second mount if you need to raise it up. It also came with a set of screws for both mounts. It came with tools and it came with a 123 battery. Now I threw an extra battery in here for now, but it did come with a battery. Cleaning cloth, two owner's manuals, and a couple other things. One of the things that came with was this scope coat, which is a regular brand it didn't even come in the box it came packaged with the box so not only did you get the replica eotech site not only did you get the the three times magnification g33 flip magnifier you also got this cool devtron scope coat which is cut for an eotech whoa price everybody today i got i got into it there was a, a post on Facebook. There was a guy who put up uh, an EOTech replica ad on Facebook or an ad on another site and took a screenshot of it and put it up. And everybody went off about how terrible these replicas are and this and that. And I said, well, guys, I could blow your mind with a replica. And I shared some pictures and the stories. That's why I'm making this video because I realized, holy crap, I've had this replica EOTech for a couple months and I haven't even thought about making a video of it. So here we are. So this, again, is the replica of the HHS-2. So, let me just go ahead and pull it off here. The mechanics and the way this site work are, I mean, if you look at an HHS-2, 
put it in your hands, look at it, and then you look at this site, it's the same thing to the naked eye without diving into it. The only thing that's different is the uh, battery cover retention cable is like a black plastic or mylar or something like that. And on this, it's a stainless braided, um, which actually I think the stainless braided looks nicer and it might be tougher. Um, it could be abrasive to the finish though. That's the only thing I worried about there. But the adjustments are the same. The mounting system is the same. The lock for the mounting system is the same. The controls are the same. Everything's the same. The glass quality is really good. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna clean this because from messing around with it, putting it on and off, and you see what I have it mounted on. That's kind of a funny joke because it's, it's a replica and I'm not gonna pretend like it's a real Yo and I'm not gonna throw it on my AR-15 or, or anything that I really wanna go out and use for, for duty, but for this high point carbine, this 10 millimeter high point carbine, I think we're in the money throwing a, a replica EOTech because I, I, I had it, I did it to one person. I get out this high point carbine and they think I have a $1,200 sight on and it's fantastic. What ensues is great. Um, so here we go, a little bit closer for you. Uh, this is the replica of the HHS 2 It is such, such a good replica on the outside. Um, the way that it's shaped, uh, again, the buttons, the controls, the battery compartment. I almost feel like they went out and sourced wherever, whoever was making EOTech shell and just bought it. Because you can't get any more exact than what this is. I have torn this site apart. I tore every nut and bolt and tore the site apart to see what the differences were inside and what kind of quality, because it's heavy what kind of quality you actually had inside. And to my surprise, looking at videos of tearing apart EOTex and this, they were really similar. The mechanics of everything is the same. The only main difference is this is a red dot. It's not a holographic. It does have a projection of red or green. That's one reason you know it's a replica because EOTech doesn't make a red or green. It's either or. Um, but let's get on to taking a look at the dot. So with these, it's kind of hard to be able to tell. So I'm gonna to try to look through here so you can see, maybe do I have the brightness up? There we go. So the brightness is up. Hopefully you are able to see, and hopefully it focuses. I tried to take a picture of it and it really made the dot look terrible with the picture and the phone. But I'll be honest, um, the dot is, I love the way the dot looks and the dot is extremely sharp. The, the, the camera's probably not going to do it any favors. And then there is the red. So we had the green and now the red. And there's five or six brightness settings for both. And just all around, this is really good. Now, if you look down inside of here, you can see that. Make sure I'm getting it. You can see the projection in there. That's how you know it's a replica right away. Because a true EOTech, you cannot see the projection of the... Uh, the light source, the holographic source at all, it just is there. Um, so on this, it's obviously a replica. You can see the LED projection. Um, but other than that, and the fact that it's not a true holographic, you get into, you know, I gotta be tricky because I got into an argument. I don't wanna be tricky. It is tricky to talk about because I got into an argument with a guy because he said I was trying to pass it off as it is just as good. No, it is not a holographic sight. So you do have to worry about things such as the temperature differentials and parallax. Now, to my knowledge, I've shot a lot of rounds with this sight on my AR and on other guns, just seeing what it would do. And I don't believe there is any parallax. I can't notice any parallax. Uh, it has held zero really good once I got it set up. The first about two mags I shot out of the AR it had a tendency to want to keep moving to the left. And I had basically thought it was in the site, but I'd figured out it was the mount. Um, and I've read online that even with the true EOTex, getting the mount perfect on a pick rail is finicky because they use a very small retention system on them. Uh, so we'll throw this back on. I don't want to go into too much more about the site because I wanted this to be a quick video, but moral of the story is it's a pretty dang good site for the money. It's a pretty dang good red dot for the money. I almost wish 
and I've said this before as well, I almost wish that I have this one really tight. I almost wish that they would just put their own label on it or make it look slightly different and just call it, again, just call it another site. Don't call it holographic. Don't call it an EOTech or don't label it as an EOTech. Just make your own site because it's a really good red dot site and it looks cool. It's really good. This is a really, really fantastic flip magnifier. Guys, I'm telling you, that that isn't real, but I'm not so convinced that EOTech doesn't, and I'm not trying to get into a fight with anybody. It's just me talking conspiracy. It could be true. I'm not convinced that, EO, that they don't reach out and find where EOTech has these magnifiers made, or EOTech might not have the magnifiers made, and possibly the body of that site made at the place where these come from, because I did get my hands on a G33 magnifier, and uh, let me tell you something, guys. It's really not any different at all. Um, so here's the magnifier. You can move the, the lens focus up, down, left, right. You can zero it on the dot, which is really nice. Um, it has the same exact mounting system and mount lock, the trip lock here, and the, the QD mount as what a regular EOTech G33 has. Um, it is labeled branded EOTech. It does have the, uh, the little QR code here for the warranty reg and the serial number, I believe that's what that's for. It also is adjustable on the end here for focus, although that is a really tight, it's not gonna move on its own ever. It's really, the focus and the, uh, the diopter settings are, are really tight, but they are adjustable. And I just wanna say this, the glass quality, and again, we're inside, this is a phone, I don't know, this could screw up the whole video. But the glass quality, I don't know if you guys can see in there, it may not work with the phone. But the glass quality is absolutely, it's superior. It really is. I mean, gosh, I hate saying that about a replica, something from Wish, because I don't want to disingenuize what I'm doing with this channel. But I just absolutely have to say it. Like, it's, it's, it's nice, but this flip mount, I had really thought about ordering another and the price is 130 bucks. So for 130 bucks plus maybe 12 or $14 shipping, you got to wait maybe three weeks a month. I ordered it during the COVID mess. We're still in a COVID mess, but the COVID mess. So it took a little longer than probably what it could under normal circumstances. So even say a month just to be safe. But for 130 bucks, you can't get a really good flip mount on the market right now for 130 bucks. Vortex is 199. The UTG and stuff, a lot of people complain about those. They're under $100, but a lot of people complain about them. I'm serious. If you're looking for a good flip mount that has two different settings for height and is completely adjustable, for $130 on Wish, you can get a really nice, super crystal clear, fully adjustable flip mount with a solid QD base. And you also get a bonus uh, replica red dot of an EOTech holographic HHS-2. So moral of the story is that. But kind of to, to put a little bow on the end of this, guys. I'm not here trying to pass off that this is an EOTech, but this is as good as an EOTech. But I do want to say this. For $130, if you're looking for a fun site to throw on any weapon... Again, I don't want to suggest that anybody should should entrust their life or or entrust a duty rifle to a, a replica anything that comes from China. But on something like this, a little range pew that I have here on this um, high point carbine, it's really nice. And what I'll probably end up doing, because with this high point carbine, 100 yards max, 10 millimeter, it could shoot further, but that's all the further I'm ever going to play with it. I might leave this on and use this one here, but this magnifier might end up coming off and going on an AR build that I'm about to do. Um, and I gotta be honest, they're still on Wish, they're still in stock. I might order more simply to get the magnifier because I've played with a Vortex magnifier. I've also, I bought a UTG and gave it to my friend because I did not like it. Um, but this is every bit as good as that Vortex magnifier. It's 60 bucks less, plus you get a free box 
and a free <laughs> replica red dot. So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I have the tendency to ramble on forever. You guys know that, but it's Corbin from Circa 2020. This is the holographic 58 site from Wish, or otherwise known as the EOTech HHS2 replica. And I'm going to give it two thumbs up just because of this guy here is well worth the money you pay. And then you get this guy free and they even send it in a box. We'll see you guys around. Stay tuned for the next video. AR guys, if you've landed here, I want to go over this little beautiful piece of jewelry, the Aero Precision Nickel Boron BCG for a 5.56 AR-15. And if you see anything else on the table you like, give me a holler. Like, share, follow guys. Thanks.